What's up, y'all? My name's Totem Trouser, and welcome back to shit. I think I just broke my wrist. Um, that's not the actual name of the Let's Play. The Let's Play is Let's Play Final Fantasy. Um, and it hasn't been uploaded in a week. There's a problem for that. Uh, and you can see me kind of walking around. This is all post commentary. This entire episode, I actually recorded two episodes, and uh, oh, the. Dark Knight writing the uh, Dreadnought's construction is very efficient, man. I recorded two episodes, and I, fortunately for us, on the matters of John's attention, and it didn't record audio. <laughs> it did not record me talking. My mic was like muted, or oh no, Fraps wasn't picking it up. So, um, instead of post commentarying two episodes, I figured I'd just slap them together, do one of them. Uh, and the reason it's taking so long is because that requires a lot of work. And, uh, well, not a lot of work, but I have to watch it, like, three different times. Uh, and, yeah. So, basically what, uh, what Hilda just told us was that we need to go and, I believe, stop the Dreadnought's construction. Yes. Uh, and I am now looking around just to, oh, right here, this is important. If the Empire is able to complete the Dreadnought, Altair, Poth, everything is going to be destroyed. So we don't want that to happen, guys. We don't. Uh, we don't want that to happen. I remember thinking that line was fucked up too. I'm going to join the Empire, Ar uh, the Rebel Army, and fight the Empire. I was like, you're a little kid, you know. But then, as I was thinking about it later, after I recorded that episode, uh, other than being frustrated that I had lost everything, I was thinking, yeah, I mean, it's different for adults. You know what I mean? Like, if an adult said that, it wouldn't be as fucked up. So why? And like, no, wait, no. I was thinking more so along the lines of like. When a little kid says, I want to grow up and be an army man, like, it's not as fucked up, but still kind of really fucked up if you think about it. I don't know. Um, oh, so right here I'm trying to make sure Gordon's not a total pussy. Um, still. So, I'm, like, trying everything. Still, still not. No. So, anyway, we're gonna go to Bafisk. Um, which I... Which we saw in episode three, I want to say? Um... And yeah, Bafisks. And yeah, I think I'm looking for like hints on how to get the Bafisks. And right now, oh, I hate post commentary, guys. I hate, 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 hate post commentary. It sucks, especially because today is a beautiful day, which I don't know why, but whenever I think of like beautiful summer days, I want to record. So I was like, well, I need to get this episode out of the way because um, after this episode, I'm actually lost in what I'm supposed to do. So, uh,. So, yeah, and I won't tell what happens at the end of this episode or anything like that. We'll get to it. But, yeah. I also have work at uh, 4, and it's 2.30 right now. And as you can see, this is a half an hour long recording. And my work is an hour away. So, I am cutting it so close right now, guys. Uh, and I'm not dressed up in anything because, well, why would I, like, I'm not dressed in my work clothes. I'm, it's a polo. I'm not wearing a polo in this weather i mean i am when i go to work but i'm not doing it now um so yeah what am i doing here i believe i was just optimizing my guy getting oh yeah right i got him the mithril sword and here's why I, I made a fuck up right there i actually sold the why am i just standing here holy fuck i suck at this game oh god there was a cut right there what was that cut for the fuck was that cut for <laughs> I don't even remember. It's been a week since I filmed this. I was so pissed off at myself that I didn't even bother, like, doing anything with it until today. Um, but yeah, right. So, as you can see, last episode I was like, where's the map? I don't know where the map is. Luckily, Von, Von Shal, Shalal, I still, I know your name. I see it in my mind. I just have a problem saying it. I don't know why. It's one of those things of, like... I misread it the first time. Yeah, you, you, you guys ever had that where you misread something the first time and then you just say it as what you misread it and everyone seems to you like an idiot? Because I do that all the damn time. So right, now I'm trying to figure out how to get to Poth, I believe? Because I think I was just like, fuck it, I'm taking the airship to Bathysk. Uh, so I did. And yeah. Uh, now we're in Palu. So, yeah, that's what I do. I just take the airship straight to there. And I should try and make this, like, uh, live commentary. Like, now we're going to take the airship. But honestly, when I do stuff, like, just stand there for five minutes. And I'm pretty sure I was supposed to cut that out. I'm actually almost positive I was supposed to cut that out. But the thing is, 
I have to edit this thing three separate times already. <laughs> like, you're gonna see battles that are meant to be cut out um, in this episode. I figure I'm doing post commentary. I'm not gonna be distracted. Um, so I'm just gonna go with it, really. Uh, <laughs> and uh, leave everything in. Fuck it. Leave everything in. I'll be entertaining it up. So, yeah. Uh, now, now we are trying to find Bathysks, which I do... Oh, I do go to Bathys. What did I take the I took the airship last episode? I don't remember. Uh, to be honest with you. Because like I said, it's been about a week. And uh my headphones are really pissing me off, and I don't actually need game audio, so fuck it. I'll just talk into this mic and not hear shit. So yeah. I feel like this might have been a fight I was willing to cut out. Um no, no, because I use No, you will know when I use a fight I'm willing to cut out, because hey guys, surprise. This is an emulator. Uh, yes, you will see right here. This is an emulator. I speed up battles I don't keep in. The reason I do that is because all these goblins take one fucking hit. No matter what I do, they're gonna take one hit. It's a waste of my time to go through all those animations. You know what I mean? So, I just speed it up. So, I mean, secret out. I, I don't see how it's a big deal. I don't speed up any important things. Um, but yes, I speed it up. Uh, if you guys are like, why are you pirating this game? Well, one, any Let's Player should know that, um, Let's Playing a portable game, legit, is really, really, really expensive. And I've already spent a good, like, two to three hundred dollars on Let's Playing already. Oh, with this guy. What's this? Right, I think I was talking. This is, uh, we're in Basques now. Back to work! Work, I say! If we finish even just a day sooner, my glory will be all that much greater. But I already own this game. So, I uh, consider it just, uh, porting. Uh, they're making us slaves. Being used to that man really makes a blood boil. It's strange, though. I can't seem to remember what things were like when the Dark Knight was in command. If you remember, when we came here, everyone was like, Work. And this guy, with this new guy, with the really high-pitched voice, which I love doing... Um, everyone seems to be memory, has their memory back. Now, um, the Dark Knight, who was in charge of it before, he, uh, he's not in charge of it. I, I, I think it said earlier that he had to step out. Uh, so now it's just, uh, Borgian in, uh, Bafisk. Oh, and here's why I realized my mistake of, I, 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 I figured broadsword and longsword. Like, broadsword sounds like a better sword than longsword, so I just kind of went with my original deduction and I was sorely mistaken so yeah oops and oh here I kind of wander around for like 15 minutes like where do I go where where do I go where do I go and the actual solution to this is kind of difficult uh so yeah I, I was actually at the solution to it I was like I don't want to talk to this guard because I remember Finn um uh, General Borgen isn't willing to deal with these peasants as he should. Okay, I, yeah, I was doing the RPG trope of like, well, someone's going to tell me what to do. I just need to talk to everyone. So, oh, what's this? Back to work, yada yada. So, uh, so I talked to everyone and I tried to get into that building for no reason. Man, I am bad at this game and I think I cut, this is one of those battles I cut out. Yeah, you can see I'm going way faster. It actually doesn't look that fast in recording if you look at it. I mean, it looks faster than like a normal thing but the thing is the reason i'm able to cut out battles so quickly is because i don't talk during them <laughs> so i can actually see the waveforms and like I, I, the, the the up and down wave i have because i talk so fucking loud uh sanctuaries aren't marked by the way i noted that and i felt that was weird um the up and down waveform of my loud talking uh, like isn't there so I know oh, okay that's the thing and I've gotten really good at just doing that but when I'm not talking in it all the waveforms look the same so I would have to watch just gameplay for 30 minutes cut all of that out when I can easily just talk over it it's not like it's a big deal um and then I would have to render it which I already rendered it then I have to talk over it so I have to watch it again and then I'm going to have to export this uh, Audacity file, put it into Sony Vegas, then watch it again. And this time, I'm going to have to watch it, like, focus on 100% to make sure that I'm not, um, what is the, out of sync. Which me talking not about the game at all is not helping that at all. 
So, yeah, at some points, I'm just gonna be like, and this is when I talk to this guy. And stuff like that. And I'm, I also have a good memory. Um, so I'm gonna remember. Ah, I figured it out. Uh, General Borgen took command and all that stuff. It was easier when things were on the dark night. It's hard to believe someone like Borgen could become general in the Imperial Army. He's such a bumbling idiot. But, uh, you didn't hear from me, alright? So I saw I can give this dude commands. He's like, oh, so you're the one that set the send the Dreadnought. Don't worry, I'm on your side. There's an entrance to the sewers up ahead. It's a secret path leading to the Dreadnought. Be careful. Look, if they see us talking, they may start to get suspicious. I better leave you now. Good luck. So yeah, that guy. Um, the fact that I said good luck after that bubble went away is going to make me think I desynced this, which I hate desync, guys. So this editing is not going to be fun at all. Um, I don't even know if it's going to go... Well, I know for a fact it's going to go up today because I'm not going to get to edit this tonight. Um, tomorrow? I don't work tomorrow. But I have a paper that was due like a week ago that I really should have done a week ago. And it needs to be done like tonight. So... Be a good student in college, kids. Uh, don't don't be a loser like I am. So yeah. yeah, it is so fucking beautiful outside right now. I, I live in the Chicagoland area, and holy hell, <laughs> it is amazing. I I shouldn't just talk about. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that you fall into the water. Why did I realize that when I played this the first time? That's that's really fucking cool. And you know what? Something about this too is that I saved after I finished my second recording. And then I was like, well, that's a good day's job done. And then I was like, wait a minute. I should. And then I, and then I looked at Spraps and it's like, no external audio detected. And I'm like, what? 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 what, what? And then I watched this and it's just music. And I was like, ah! Not a good day. So, yeah. I should stop going, so yeah. Oh, so by the way, um, Maria's magic, I should probably go on this. I, I know I'm supposed to use Maria's magic, like, to get her MP up and all that jazz, but it's one of those things, too. It's like a weird conservation thing. I only want to, like, if there's one enemy, I don't want to cast fire on it, because I can just take that thing out. If there's six enemies I can hit all at once. I see it's okay, but yeah, like, I don't want to run out of Maria's magic, because she's my black mage right now. You know what I mean? So, I, it's just, it's just one of those things, because if you guys remember, I did run out of Maria's magic, and completely screwed me, and I think this is when I realized that these guys, extremely resistant to magic, uh, at least I believe it was these guys, yeah it is, those guys, it's like they're made out of grass, you would think fire would fucking hurt, it doesn't hurt, so yeah, and... I'm, I'm thinking of what I did in this dungeon. Uh, I know I got interrupted by a lot of monsters. So basically, you haven't kept up, and I haven't been doing a great job of really reading everything because I read it all at the time and then went through it way too fast. So this is actually kind of good for me because I can kind of see, like, okay, don't skip through everything so fast. Yeah, I can read very fast, but some others might not be able to. Um, and just stuff like that. And, yeah. And there is way too many slimes in here. So, right, what were we doing? Right now, we're in the sewers of Bathysk. And we are trying to get to the Dreadnought. Um, this is a secret entrance because that one dude was a double agent that led us there. So, we're trying to get to Bathysk to stop the Dreadnought from destroying Altair, Paloom, Poff, Gatria, I think Salmon, maybe. I don't know if Salmon is actually under control of the Emperor yet. Speaking of Salmon. Ooh, I got a long bow. Yay. I actually checked to make sure, like, wait a minute. Didn't I have this, like, a while ago? Um, Sa uh, if you remember, Joseph in Salmon was, uh, was, the reason he wasn't talking to us is because a guy named Borgian stole his daughter. Well, now we met Borgian. He's a little sniveling dude, and I picture him being, like, the, uh, uh, what are they called in Castlevania? Jack the Rippers? Little, little time dudes that hop around everywhere. You know what I mean? Uh, I think they're called Jack the Ripper, or at least that's one variation of it in like Harmony or Symphony of the Spare, Harmony of the Night. I don't know which one I have. I want to let's play one of those games too. I think I'm, I'm not gonna do it now because um, because I'm already doing a blind let's play. I'm probably not gonna do it after this. But at some time in the future, I want to play one of the Metroidvania games. 
and uh, Eric. Well, now we're back. Uh, I don't know why I just stood there for like 15 minutes. Uh, but yeah, that was weird. So I am cutting things out. Uh, that was supposed to be cut out. So yeah, when I'm, I'm just gonna talk. Ooh, I could totally do that. I could talk over everything and then just cut the battles out. Why didn't I think of that? Damn it. Okay, from now on, if it's a long battle, I'm gonna just cut the shit out. I'm just not gonna talk. Boom. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm a genius. Well, not a genius, because I would have thought of it at the time. And I bet all the other Let's Players that watch this, are, you know, like, because I feel like a, 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 a small time Let's Player's main audience is other Let's Players. Um, so, because. I, I don't know. I just I just feel that way. I think I think the majority of the subscribers that I've gotten since I've started doing this also do let's plays themselves. So um, so I guess that's where I come from. I think I have like one or two subscribers that I've gotten that aren't that way, and they for the most part don't really participate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Actually, a lot of a lot of the subscribers I have, I have about fifty-ish at the time. And if I ever get more and someone watches this in the past, they'll be like, whoa. Um, hopefully that's the case. I don't know. But yeah, if I ever get... Anyway, no. I have about 50-ish. Um, a lot of them are my friends, like, accounts from, like, freshman year and shit like that. Um, when I used to do vlogs that were awful and you're never seeing them. Even though they're still totally on this channel, I have them all private. I, I, I have this thing of like if I ever if I like as milestones I'll re I have like 12 so as as milestones that I determine whenever I get near them I'm just gonna release some you know what I mean I'm just gonna make them unprivate and then link them or something like that so you guys can watch and laugh at how fucking painfully awkward I was and my hair oh my god my hair in high school anyway you're too late the dreadnought is complete I've been working behind the scenes to see the project through completion and your resistance. Kneel before your emperor. It is the only alternative left to you. Consider what I've said. When the time comes, we will meet again. <laughs> Look, looks like you came all this way for nothing. See for yourselves. Then he does the Kepka laugh, which I really enjoy. Right, this is a really cool scene. I feel like it goes on a little bit too long, but other than that, it is insanely cool. So, yeah. I just want to listen to this music, really. That looks like it has a face. Anyway, so, now as you realize, shit is fucked. You know what, you know what that, I, one sec, I'll talk about this later. Well, fuck. <laughs> so, I think I realized whenever I did that pause, like I did that pause, um, couple... Oh, I got a pass for the Dreadnought. I remember someone in town mentioned that, that you need a pass to use the Dreadnought. So, yeah. So, now I have one, even though the Dreadnought's way over there somewhere. And we probably should go check on some of the towns that, uh... That we're allied with because, like that man in Altair said, Dreadnought gets a hold of this, bad things are gonna happen. So, yeah, it is 2.55, and I'm only 20 minutes into this video. I don't know if I'm gonna, because uh, when it gets to, when it gets around, I, I leave at 3.15. Like, if I have work at 4, I, le I leave 45 minutes before work. So, I have work at 4 today. Uh, and... Oh, the d d Dreadnought, we're all d d d d doomed! You have to tell Princess Hill the Dreadnought's been completed. She may know how to stop it. The Dreadnought's headed for Poft. Maybe it's already too late. So, yeah, we go and take a nap in the inn. Which I realize now... Kinda bad timing! But, I mean, on, it's an RPG, obviously, so I need to rest up. But it's just kind of funny. It's like... Oh, the giant war machine that's the Final Fantasy II equivalent to a nuclear bomb has been completed and on its way to attack people? Let's take a nap. It's not, not the best uh, thinking there, uh, Furion. And now I'm buying magic. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Uh, I believe I buy some white magic for Furion, I think. Just because I still feel like Minwoo... Like, I, I, I feel like, I don't know, Minwoo 
doesn't seem permanent to me. So, I just wanted to uh, get Fury on some white magic, which I think I do in this episode. If, if I haven't done it already, because I've only played up to the ending of this episode. So, if I haven't done it already, uh, it's in this episode. Surprise, spoilers. Um, I might have just got really loud there. That was me sitting up in my chair. So yeah, Dreadnought's completed, and uh, I realized, <coughs> and we're back! Okay, cool. So yeah, it's way too hot in this house. I'm really considering taking my shirt off, but I don't know how that's going to sound to the microphone, which kind of scares me a little bit, um, because I don't want to be like, I don't know what the sound of stripping sounds like. Uh, it's a lot better without these headphones on, to be honest with you, and I can kind of hear myself a lot better. I feel like I scream when I have these headphones on, but then I can't hear game audio. So, I might find another alternative. I might just get really, really long earbuds. I know people like B00 uses those as headphones. Because I don't really actually use these headphones for anything. Um, they're, I mean, I used to use them for my voice. Um, they're Ear Force 12, Turtle Beaches. Um, and I used to use them for my voice, and they worked. They worked okay. Like, it was some pretty good sound quality, but like... Eh? Um, the Blue Yeti, which is why I use now, is much better. So right, now we're going into Poft, and we can see that it has been messed up. According to that lady, everyone in Poft except for her and, uh, yeah, as you can see, the, the, the once bustling town of Poft is blown up, really, for lack of a better term. And I believe here's where I buy magic, yes. I buy some magic, uh, I think I get protect, do I get protect? If I don't get protect, Eric, go back and get protect, uh, because you probably should have protect. But yeah, uh, but yeah, Poft is Poft is already destroyed. So as soon as we, uh, why am I buying another Kyoto? What am I doing? No, okay, okay. Did I not buy one already? Oh my god! I feel like with my live commentary, this looks less stupid. Oh right, I st ma equipment magic still kind of hard for me. Uh, that that's what this was. I have an Isuna tome. I wonder who I gave that to. Oh, Felix. My cat wants to get inside. Um, but I'm recording, so he can fucking wait. The damn animal. Say 23 minutes in. I know this episode goes for like 31 minutes. What is that? That's 8 minutes. Ah, I can rest. So, I see she has a Mithril Bow. Did I buy her the Mithril Bow? I feel like I really should buy her the Mithril Bow if I did. Yes, I did. Cool. Cat, I love you, but no. He's he's a little bug. I'm actually trying to teach him how to walk. Like, we're not like legit walk, but like outside. Right. Um. Oh, right. We go to Sid and we ask him about the dreadnought. He says, "You gotta blow up the thing's engine that would knock the whole monster over." So remember that we talked to Sid about the dreadnought. Just remember that because that comes into play uh, later on in the episode. But remember that we talked to Sid about the dreadnought, and we bought passage on the ship, which remarkably unharmed, uh, which is good because that ship is a lifesaver in terms of RPG uh, left playing because I don't have to walk from Poff to Paloom, and Paloom still named the same, so I'm slightly okay with it. But it has also been hit by the dreadnought, and as you can see. Everyone's dead. Uh, I've been hurt rather badly. I think I'm done for. That dude's dying. And I. Pa, pa, oh, ooh, I forgot about that one. That one's really messed up. Um, yeah. It, this is this game, and this is why I'm sad. I lost my all because my my initial reaction to all of this was like horror. Like I was legit like sad that this had happened to these people. And, like, I lost it all because there was, like, actual emotion in my voice. And not anymore because I've already seen it and I've gotten over it. Um, well, not gotten over it because, yeah, but as you can see, the towns, they, they got Altair as well. Uh, and there's no Goron. Because I remember looking for him like, where'd he go? <laughs> Maybe this will make him not be such a pansy. As you can see, there's a lot more people in, like, the hideout. A uh, little boy who wants to join the army is scared. The king apparently is injured. And here we go. There's a man in Poth that knows the Dreadnought's weakness. He was the first man to ever build an uh, airship. The Dreadnought's really an airship. Um, if we don't destroy the Dreadnought, we're going to continue to die. So, attack with the Dreadnought. The hideout is safe. As you can see, hideout looks pretty damn good. Looks like it held up pretty well. 
many were wounded in the Dreadnought's attack. The shock has even caused my father's condition to take a turn for the worse. It distresses me to think that my father has to see this. He knows. He knows he's close to the end. Is there nothing you can do, Minwoo? All, these, all those who must live must someday die. It is our faith. I really hope that's not racist, by the way. Still, it is my duty as a white wizard to ease the pain of those who suffer. I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. I take my leave of you. See, I told you it was temp. The fate of the world rests on you, Furion. Waste no time in destroying the Dreadnought. party so yeah um and if you remember correctly they mentioned going to see the king but oh minu's condition is approved like some enemies yeah i was supposed to fight against something so terrible i have no idea so if you remember we were just talking about the king so we're gonna go visit the king which is in this room yes the king's illness goes far beyond the physical there's little i can do the Dreadnought is a massive airship. It is likely they both function on the same principle. So many perish in the Dreadnought's attack. Perhaps it would be best if we surrender to the Empire. Ask about the Dreadnought, he has no idea. No one knows more than airships than Sid. He was a fine knight once, so how many change. Uh, so apparently Sid was once a knight in the... Oh, God. Flynn? Uh, is this Flynn? Like, the King, Queen Hill is the, the, the Queen of Flynn, right? I don't remember. Anyway. Um, but yeah, apparently Sid was once a knight for the king and Hill. So, yeah. And I am just kind of walking around because here's why I come to the point. I already talked to Sid. I already talked to Sid. I have no idea what to do now. Because um, I... I believe I go and check some other towns, um, Gatria in particular, uh, I had a really, really good moment that I'm gonna repeat because it was pretty dark, and here I buy Blizzard for, I think, yeah, I sell, I sell some of the shit I don't need, then I'm gonna buy Blizzard for Maria, just because I figured she should have another spell, just in case I get something that's resistant to those, I don't know if, I, I if there's just, like, a resistance to magic or if there's a resistance to like fire you know what i mean i feel i know modern day final fantasy games are like i'm i'm a monster from flames you know i'm a i'm a, I'm a giant flame i'm resistant to fire i don't know if if that's still the fact or not the fact but oh i do teach him as soon cool um i don't know if that's the 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 case in this game seeing as this isn't nes game um so yeah, once again, sanctuary really should be marked uh, because I'm just I'm guaranteeing you in like every new town I go to, I'm gonna accidentally wander into the sanctuary. I th I think I'm actually making the same comment right now in like the live video. Um, it's actually kind of sad to think about. It. I was just talking like I was literally I'm doing it now, but I was doing even more so just talking to myself. Uh, and. So yeah, it looks like I'm only gonna visit Gatria. I do visit Salmond off camera just to see, um, because I, uh, like I said, I don't know where to go. Um, right. So, you know, remember that kid that was there? And I remember remarking that I think he was an asshole. He's, he's just dead. The Dreadnought killed them all. Once again, same as, uh, Poft. Everyone is dead. Like, that kid that we remarked an asshole, he's just gone. Like, all these characters that were in this town are just gone. And I know they were just NPCs, but that is so messed up that they're just, they're just gone. You know what I mean? And Finn, obviously, fared pretty well because it was under the Empire's control anyway. But, essentially, yeah. So, about where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I, uh, I end up visiting Samwen, and I'm pretty sure the next episode's actually going to take place. Not Samwen. Uh, next episode's going to take place in Poft. Because I remember going to Poft and being like, where where do I go? So, uh, yes, the next episode is going to take place in Poft. Uh, at least that's where it's going to start. And I'm going to talk to Sid again and show you guys I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I, I, I try to stray away from asking, like, where do I go now? Because that seems... 
that seems the ch uh, cheap way of doing a blind let's play but this is the like this is the part where I have officially stopped playing uh, like when I used to play this in the past like I I know I said that a couple times about some other things but now I actually remember like I, I remember the dreadnought and all that jazz um, so this is the part where I stop playing the Game Boy version. So from now on, this is a 100% blind let's play. Um, problem with that being, I don't know where to go. Uh, and I know, I don't remember the name of the area, but, oh, I just jumped to it. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is the beginning of the next episode. I must have accidentally put this into the recording when I rendered it. But hey, I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. You want the airship to pay the fellow behind me. I asked about the dreadnought, and he tells me the same thing. So, I ask him about, like, everything else. He doesn't listen to me. Um, as you can see, all the men who were in the tavern, dead. All dead. Uh, do I... Do I go and talk to the dude? Because I know there is an area that I haven't been to yet. That appears to be... Like... It, it's just, I can fly there on the airship, and I don't know if that's where the dreadnought is. Um, but it's kind of pricey, and I don't want to spend money to go there. If it's not the area I don't need to go to. So yeah, I know the I know the dreadnought went left. Uh but or my version left. Right. Do I actually go to Salmon in here? I don't actually this this was never supposed to be in here, but since I already rendered it in, I guess I'll keep it in. Um You know what? Nah how much is left on this video? Oh. It's only like a couple minutes, so not even a couple minutes. I think it is like a few extra minutes, so I'm just gonna keep this in, whatever. So I do end up getting the Salamon, um, and yeah, I'm gonna kill this guy. And I check up on Salmon just to make sure like Salmon is totally okay. And I believe it is, but I have no way of ch well, I, I, I don't remember to be honest with you. And it is! Everyone in Salmon's still alive. So I don't know why Salmon was actually necessarily spared. Um, maybe because it's not like in the direct path, you know what I mean? If they killed off like every NPC in the fucking game, that would be kind of bad. So, yeah. And then I ask Joseph about the Dreadnought, and since Darker took over, he just tells me, yeah, he doesn't even know it's been done. So Salmon is completely, at this point, a bug. Like, there's nothing happening in Salmon as, as of right now. And oh! Oh god! I started speeding everything up. Uh, I think at this point I... Oh, apparently I just ended the video. Remember, that part was not actually supposed to be in the video. So, uh, I, 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 right before I went to class, I did a quick little render job. And I guess I must have left that guy in there on accident. So anyway, uh, right now you're probably going to be seeing like the picture of the thumbnail. Or something, or something. I'll have something up here. But uh, anyway, my name's Totem Trouser, guys. Stay beautiful.